Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of Calibrated Gamer. Oh my god, it... Okay, it's been about three-fourths of a year since last time I did a stream on twitch.tv slash Gamer. And I was gonna do one today, uh, and my internet's out. So I was like, you know what I haven't done in a very long time is record video. So I guess this first little outing of this new little series that I'm gonna test out doing is gonna be recorded, not streamed, uh, today we're gonna try out a thing that I've wanted to do called Sudden Switch Shovelware or whatever ends up being called. That's what the title is right now. So I have bought <laughs> three of the most recent like under two dollar Nintendo Switch games that have popped up on the store uh, very very recently. We're gonna play the most we're, we're, let's play the oldest one first. I did play a tiny bit of this just to see like if I could get the setup working. Hopefully it still works. Uh, called Gun Plus. But as you can see, all three. You know what? We'll save that. We'll save that. It's probably better than uh, these two things. Let's play Snug Finder. No, it's the first episode. You know what? Let's. I I don't know if any of these are good. <laughs> to be honest, these could be the three most amazing games I've played in years uh all three of these games could be hot garbage so we are going to boot up gum plus and see and see what's going on be like a postage stamp stick to one thing until you get there josh billings all right so i have i have booted up the campaign to see if the game was going to be too loud, and I can't seem to restart the intro cutscene. Are you serious? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's, um, maybe if I delete my save file from the main Switch menu. Okay. I was able to delete the uh, save data, which, which by the way, I've only ever had to do uh, game-wise in the um, like in the main Switch like home menu, right? The only time I ever had to do that was to delete my entire island on Animal Crossing, um, which I've done a couple of times because I always just like screw it up and I'm like, you know what, I want to restart, like whatever. Um, but this game just made it way more complicated than it needed to be. Wizards are lazy, and Juvix was no exception. Living alone in his tower, he always hated having to clean up his own messes. Ah, oh, so like many wizards do, he created a servile mound of sticky gum. A gum person. Yes, the gum person cleaned up all his messes and didn't cause any. Well, didn't cause many problems, I see what he did there. And though Juvix was too prideful to admit it, his tower seemed a little less lonely with the gum person around. Aww. I'm gonna name him Gumi. Gumi gum person. Alright now, Gumi, stand back! Way back! I can't have anything go wrong with this experiment! I gave him with the with a word like experiment. I think I finally located it, the source of all energy in this universe. Don't take this personally, but it's a million times more exciting than you. Now I just need to open a high-level scrying portal to see if I'm right. A high-level scrying portal? A scrying is like, you know, like a scrying mirror, something allows you to see other things. I see it! I see it! I finally found it! It's like a window into a different area. Something's trying to pour me in! This is getting out of hand! Exclamation marks! Oh no! M my master! Oh, I can't really talk because I'm a, a gun person. I got no more brain. Afterwards, the gun person wandered the lonely tower in search of Juvix. What mother names their child Juvix and expects them to not go into wizardry? Days passed with nothing but the sound of the nearby sea and Gummy's gross, nasty feet sticking to the floor, making the entire floor like that of a cheapo movie theater. The gum person waited and waited, Gumi, but its master never returned. By the way, if you hear a ball smacking the floor, like, like, tennis balls hitting the floor, 
or if you see uh, any of my dogs in the background, uh, I'll explain that in a second. The gun person left the tower and had it finally just and had had it. Oh, had it finally decided to look for his master. Okay, I, it was a question, but the question mark got popped up. Okay, um, so it has been probably over a year, maybe even two years. No, maybe even longer than that. Maybe like three. I don't know how many years. It's been years since the last time I actually recorded a Let's Play video without like actually just streaming it and then editing the stream. Today, I was going to stream, but uh, for one, you can notice I'm in a very different room right now. I'm actually in my own bedroom, which is why uh, Archie and Sadie are up here on the bed chewing on ball. Sadie May, come here Sadie May. You can jump up, brother's not gonna mess with you. Jump up here. Well, you can, I don't know if you can see her. There you go. Anyway, but um, with that in mind, uh, the air conditioning, there she goes. The air conditioning is out in the house. So I went into the one room that's actually kind of cool because of our unit window, our unit, our window unit. But unfortunately I had to turn it off for the fake, the, the fake, for the fact of the stream. And then if that wasn't enough, I had this all set up, show the picture, uh, ready to, you know, stream. For the first time in a very long time, mind you, I hadn't streamed in like almost a year as well. Like I had taken a major hiatus. Um, and I don't know how official I'll get back into it, but that's the point. Point is, is that I set this all up and realized that my internet is completely out. So we're recording it became, and here we go, level one of Gum World. So I've already done this a little bit, and I didn't realize he is literally a gum person. Being sticky in introduction. Wait. Oh, uh, there's like a set number of moves. I don't know if I care. I don't think I care. Um, so welcome to Sudden Switch Shovelware. I have beaten this level before and realized that you can actually, uh, it's like the game, what? what does that mean? Does that make me not sticky? There's some sort of button something is happening. Okay, you can backspace like that game, um, major puzzle game that everyone loves that this seems to be kind of like very similar to oh huh what oh. clever girl i like that so if i'm walking past something i'm gonna stick to it but if it can't move with me then i'll just stick off of it uh, i don't think i can pull you any higher yeah Okay. And I cannot use my uh, arrow keys for some reason. It wants to be solely uh, analog stick, which is actually kind of annoying because um, on a little 8-bit game like this, I definitely don't want to be using analog stick, but whatever. Okay, so I guess my thing is you find stuff that's sticky. Okay. That's an interesting mindset to have. To have to have. Oh god, but I can't do anything with you. So, so let me explain to you real quick the controls here. Uh, analog stick. That's it. Those are the controls. You've got buttons to make things invisible for some reason, and to make yourself invisible. I don't know what the purpose of that is. But we saw, and, and you've got buttons to rewind time, buttons to reset the level, but besides that, that's it. I mean, it is the analog stick. That is the only um, button of choice. And is there a way I can detach? There's gotta be a way. Oh wait, I mean, I think I just overthought it. Yeah, but then how do I detach from there? Oh, okay, and then I gotta wrap around and loop up? No. Oh God. Oh God, now what? What do I do about that? How do I fix this? I'm so confused. What is what is the name of that um, puzzle game that this is very similar to? Uh, oh, oh, it's like something is you or whatever. I have an idiot, I don't remember what it's called. No one else in the comments. It's like Abba's you or something like that. I think that's what it is. Abba the famous singers, yeah, but Abba. Shipwreck of St. Matt. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. I can do that. So my goal is to get it here, right? Because that is water and I'm a I'm a drown in that. I get that. I understand that. That's not my issue. Is there I wish there was a way to leave a block where it was. See, I can't even pass this block without gravity. Okay. Oh, I don't, and I don't even need the second one. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Figuring it out. This is a good. This is a good first um, game. Okay. Wait, what do I do there? Then? This is a fir good first game for sudden switchware or whatever it's called. Whoa! I moved the whole thing. That's cool. Oh, that's water. Oh, and that's land. I get it. Maybe. I don't get it. But we're gonna pretend like I get it. Wait. And then put it up there. Oh, wait. And then I need to take you with me. Up there. And I need to grab... I wish this was an analog stick. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, game designers. Uh... Oh. The plus button just takes you back to the menu. Cool. This is very simplistic. <laughs> this is... I don't even want to call it... Sh okay, so the, the I wanted to say something as well. The fact that I call this series um, Sudden... Okay, I'm sorry. The plus button takes you back out of the level, regardless of what you're doing. And the plus button again takes you back to the main menu. Um, very, very, very simplistic. It works. Sure. Kind of screwed me up, but whatever. I mean... My fault, huh? Uh, mindset is right. I wish it wasn't quite as simple. Like, yeah, and I don't even want to call this game Switchware with that in mind, right? Um, I, that's what I was gonna say though. Is that I was not calling this series. Oh god, I have loyally screwed myself. I, I, I can fix it without having to reset. No, I can't. Oh god, I have screwed myself. Oh no. <laughs> I think I did. I couldn't figure out a way to let go. Um, anyway. Um, I called this series Sudden Shovelware not because I am going to strictly be playing Shovelware. The mindset is, is that, um, in case you haven't noticed, the Switch is one of the worst consoles I've ever seen as far as just allowing every single bit of shovelware to make its way to it. And I mean, the Wii was bad, for sure. And I don't even know how the Wii U was. I didn't really get to own it. But, um, the freaking... I mean, the Switch is just... There is consistently just games popping up on the Switch store that aren't necessarily good, and they're cheap. That's all that matters. And I just wanted to buy some of those cheap games and give them a play, since no one else will. Um, I thought that was a cool idea, so here we are doing it. Oh, I do. Oh, I see you down there. I almost didn't see you down there. Y'all have got a little bit more view than I do, uh, weird to say. I had to, um... I had to, uh, kind of crop my screen a little bit. Um, I don't need to know that. Just know that um, it wasn't quite as visible in the bottom corner for me as it is for you. <laughs> was like, yay, okay, then this. This is a weird. That's. Okay. That's odd. And then I can grab you here. Shoot! But I got. It. A, a, a slight undo button. Okay. Okay, I get it. Aha! Clever girl! Good! Um. Oh. The gum person scoured the land. Was it perhaps searching for its master? Interesting. What's this little, uh, little portal here? Cool. Made me sneeze. That's an interesting feature of the game. Uh, bravo, game designers. I have no idea how y'all even manage that. 
Oh, you don't sneeze. Let's see. I, I knew that was gonna happen. As soon as I pressed up, I was like, wait. Oh, that's also bad. Alright, um, um, that's not right then. Um. Oh. Wait, hey, I don't need to, I don't need to grab that one really willy nilly. Okay, I cannot pass those without bumping them in. But I need all three. I got you. Mess that one up. I got you. I messed, I messed that one up. <laughs> I guess I don't got you. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I have no idea what I'm doing. God, you can't even just hold down the analog stick. Oh god. Now what? There's a piece of wood blocking. No! No! Ah, gum. Oh. Okay, I see it, I see it, I see it. Let me do this one first. Bop, right. Frick! Hold on, I can do this! Okay, hold on, hold on, okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm not trying to get these in any sort of, like, um, set number of moves or whatever. But if I'm figuring it out, I don't want to, like, um, screw myself up too much. <laughs> oh! Oh! GOLD! How am I supposed to know it's gold? <laughs> like, yeah, I can see it there. It's just a, it's just a black and white flag. Kind of enjoying this game, actually. I am currently in the mindset of, um... I'm no longer recommend it. I'm just gonna, I do recommend it. God, what do you do there? Okay, that's... I'm gonna have to go, like... That's, I mean, like, even if I got that, that would be one short. Oh. I'm recommending this so far for a quick little, for a quick little puzzle game. Very cheap. It's literally like a dollar something. Oh. Use the blocks. And then now what? Now what, Kimosabi? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, what? How do you do this one? Wish I had a hint. Maybe if I go like all the way up and do. Oh! 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 I, I, I kind of got a little too excited. But you see what I'm doing, right? That was a big brain moment. Oh! Big brain moment! Oh! Whoa! I'm so pumped that got me excited. Here you go, little girl. Did your ball foot fall under me? Here you go. Here you go. Oh. That was awesome. That made me feel like a real man. I appreciate that game. Okay. Oh god. I didn't mean to grab that. Oh god. Go. No. I didn't mean to grab you. I let go of you. Oh god. Oh god. Huh. And wherever I grab it, I mean, that is, I'm stuck with you until death do us part. What if I do, like, you there? I think I messed that one up. What if I do this? I'm loving the music. I'm loving the music. I do that, because that's going to undo that. 
Huh. Well, I'm loving the music. I'm loving the idea. Well-designed puzzles. You know it. So far. All in all, very good. Driving me a little crazy. Make me want to maybe kill a person. I'll come back to that puzzle. No, I know none of these puzzles will be easier from now on. But even so. What is the goal here? Let's... One-way cave. Oh. Where's the goal? I guess killing myself is the goal. What's the goal? I not seen oh that's the goal for some reason I it's it's so uh, I mean I'm literally looking at it I can see it uh, it's this thing down here <laughs> I can't go that way now oh man oh man what a clever little trick I screwed that up then because I mean I can't go this way either oh man um, <laughs> I, I can I can see this exit now right um, but Lord knows, I was like, I thought it was like an item or something, but nope, nothing like that in this game. But what if I do... I mean, I can't... I have to get one of these blocks... Um, to the cave exit. Right, that's the mentality. I can't go this way with it. As of right now. Can I? Nope. I can't go to the left. Maybe I can go this way now, though. Nope. Oh. I'm not entirely sure why my brain couldn't figure that out or how I did finally trick my brain into figuring it out, but, uh, GG. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what does one say when they, uh, stumble upon greatness? <laughs> okay, so, um, welcome back, I guess. Lord knows I don't know what's going on. Oh, no. So the, so the, to explain what's happening, in case no one has any idea what's happening. These little brick things, right, they attach to me when I'm gummy. But they limit my movement if they bump into other bricks, or wood. And then those black bits is just the endless void. So I have to effectively fill in the endless void with these brick things. But like, see, for example, they're gonna just keep moving until... What if I do this? I've got to basically un unhook myself from them, you know? Not necessarily what I wanted. Very, very well. Was that exactly what I wanted? How do I get unhooked? <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> the exit's right there! Help! How do I get frickin' unhooked? Oh. Okay. Okay. Curse you! <laughs> Can't go up from there. Okay. Help! <laughs> what did I do? Okay, so I can unhook here. I can unhook here. I feel like I can't. No! I can't do that, because then I unhook there and it's literally the exact same thing. Oh, you devious little... And then I can't go up, because that's the... So you see, you see what I'm dealing with? This is a fun 
Yay. I genuinely am enjoying this. I'm not good enough at puzzles to make this a long-term thing, you know, as like a series or whatever. But it was a great first episode of Sudden Switch Shovelware. Definitely not Shovelware. Definitely gets my... I don't know what I'm doing with this series, but definitely gets my thumbs up of approval of buy this game, play its puzzles, help Gum Man get back to his master. I, I'm not good enough at this game. Can I try one more puzzle that I've not seen yet? Oh. Hurts my brain a little bit. I see the... That's the... That's the... Like, clouds underneath. That's cool. So I get it. I got it. I understand the concepts, right? Okay. Well, I'm just screwing this up. Interesting. Not exactly sure what my end goal is. I know I, I I know I understand my end goal. I need to move these things on the right. These into my brain. I need to move these things on the right to where they are not on the right. So that way I can it's it's like one of those slide puzzles, right? You know what I'm saying? It's one of them. I was until I stuck my gummy stuff to it. Then how would I get back up? See, I'm consistently stuck to it. So I'm like, I'm stuck in these little, these little doodads. Here. Ooh. Uh, I got out. I 110% got out. Greatest nightmare. I'm stuck to every piece in the board. Yeah, I'm stuck. Yeah. Okay. That's why they're they're in a in a four. Oh god. Help! Help! Well, I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm done playing uh, this uh, freaking driving me insane over here. Uh, how the babies doing? Y'all check on the babies for me. They look good. They may. Use your iPhone so she's a little distracted. And Archie Gray is now excited to check on her. But thank you guys so much for joining me on Gum Plus. Part of Sudden Switch Shovelware. I say it's not shovelware. Uh, yeah, probably cheaply made, but also cheaply priced and certainly worth the money. So thank you to the game developers who made this game. Go check it out on the Switch Store now, right at the top of the recent. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the Floof Troop. And until next time, stay calibrated. And I guess I'm back. Maybe? Who knows? Bye, everyone.